Hicks Law is one of the most important guiding principles in product design, because it allows you to create a smooth user experience. In today's video, we will discuss what Hicks Law is and how we can apply it in product design. Hicks Law states that the time it takes for a person to make a decision increases with the number and complexity of choices. Generally, the more choices the user has, the more time it will take for them to decide. Hicks Law is about how we organize information in our products. It's easy to illustrate how this law works using a simple exercise. Please choose a fruit you like from this list. It probably will take you a few seconds to make a decision. But if I give you a much smaller list, say a list of three items, it will take less time for you to decide. The task will also feel much easier. For the same reason, many restaurants avoid providing a menu with dozens of different dishes. Here you can see a menu that has more than 15 items in a single category of acid food dishes. Compare it to the menu that has only 6 items in total for all categories. Which one is more comfortable to use? The point is, more options are not equal to more value. This rule works for any type of a product. A classic example is a TV remote. You likely see a remote like this. It looks very impressive. But how many buttons did you actually use on this remote? Compare it to the Apple remote, which only provides essential actions such as turning the TV on or off, changing the channel or volume. All secondary options are available in specific contexts. Reaction time is one of the essential properties of the Higgs law. Reaction time is the time required to process information and then make a response. Generally, the more choices a person has, the more reaction time will be. Reaction time depends on many different things – age, level of computer savviness, and experience using a particular product. On this chart, you can see that reaction time will likely be higher for the novice user than for experienced user. Now let's discuss four ways you can apply Higgs Law to product design. First, break complex tasks into smaller tasks. It will help you to decrease cognitive load or amount of brain power required to complete certain operation. For example, you can break a checkout experience into a series of steps, such as providing shipping information, billing information, and confirming the purchase. Reducing the number of options on the screen makes the interface more user-friendly. This technique is known as chunking. Second, highlight recommended option to make it easier for users to decide. This works particularly well for the pricing tables. If you have multiple pricing plans, you can highlight the most commonly selected pricing plan. But be honest and choose the plan that pro provides the most value to your users, not your business. Third, you want to minimize the total number of options users have to deal with. Remember our example with the TV remotes? We don't want to overwhelm our users with too many options. Hicks Law can be used to narrow down big volumes of information without overloading the user. Many social media platforms use a feature called a smart feed. The smart feed provides contact, content based on the user preferences. For example, when you visit YouTube, the first eight items you will see in the feed will be highly relevant to your profile. E-commerce websites also try to narrow down the list of options that the customers go through. For example, here you can see how Amazon provides ideas on what you might want to buy as a gift. Last but not least, categorize different options to make it easier for users to digest them. For example, you can see how Twitter groups different categories of settings. You always need to ensure that the categorization makes sense to your users. That's why you should practice card sorting. Card sorting is an excellent method to find out about the categories of information that makes more sense to your users. And always evaluate the choices you want to provide from a perspective of your users. Avoid flooding the UI with too many options. Here you can see a Facebook settings page. Despite that it has relevant categories, it still feels overly complex. It's also overwhelming that it leads to decision paralysis, a situation when the users won't be able to make any decision. It feels almost like this page was intentionally designed 
so people won't change default settings. So, now I hope you understand how you can apply Higgs Law to make your choices easier for your users. If you like this video, please subscribe and click on the bell icon so you will never miss a new video.